One of the most common questions that we get from personal trainers is, how do I get clients? What's the best method right now for me to be able to get clients easily, cheaply, and something that I can do day in, day out? And that's exactly what we're gonna show you in this episode. And I know that's a really big promise, but to be perfectly honest, this is something that we've got down to a science, that we've got so many coaches around the world in different markets being able to do, and it really is some basic principles that we can use those principles to be able to change. So we're gonna do both. We're gonna be showing you the key principles that can, uh, if anything, work day in, day out, year in, year out, but we're gonna get really finite as well, really show you some tactical stuff, the stuff that you can do as of today to make sure that you're actually getting leads, turning those leads into clients, and building the business that you really want as well. So Josh, let's actually go through because I think the three steps that we need to understand is number one, we need to get someone to know who we are. Can we all agree that this is something that we need to be able to do? We need to get someone to know who we are. Secondly, we need to be able to actually build a relationship mm -hmm. with them. And then we need to be able to get enough know, like, and trust factor to put them into a sales process. It doesn't have to be too salesy, but it's actually a conversation at the end of the day that gets them on board with the client, okay? Mm -hmm. You can just follow those three steps. I think Robert's your father's brother. We've got something that's really cool. So how do we get someone to know who you are at the end of the day? Josh, what do you think? Yes, yeah, should be doing. Totally, totally. I love this one. Um, I'll tell you this: a little bit of experience with the Facebook group. There was a period of time where I was an independent contractor with the fastest-growing fitness company in the world, zero to two hundred million dollars in revenue in about five years. Crazy growth. I saw a lot of that growth in my time there. And so this is what we did. This was our client acquisition process. We would spend money on advertising, about two million dollars USD per year. I'm sorry, not per year, per month. I'm sorry, yeah. per month over. 20 to 30 million per year on driving people to this Facebook group for them to be a part of our community and then eventually sell them online coaching. That process made us 500 to 1,000 sales every day of the week. So let's just pause here. This is really good. Okay, the numbers <laughs> might have freaked you out. So chill, chill, <laughs> breathe. They still freak me out. <laughs> yeah, breathe. Okay, just change 2 million a month to 200 a month, $200 a month. Cool, just that. Because you've got to think about right now, and this is something that's really important. Yeah. You could be doing the organic yeah. route, and you can be doing the organic route. Do yeah. I say the organic route is bad? No. no, but if you have zero following right now, right? Jumping onto Instagram, liking other people's posts, commenting on random people's yeah. stuff, oh, I feel like I'd rather stub my big toe. Do you know what I mean? What I would rather is something that is predictable. So let's put this. I should have said this is stuff, but I'm gonna say it right now for you. We're going to create a predictable selling machine. Are you cool right now if we show you how to create a predictable selling machine? So which mm -hmm. starts with, you're running an ad, okay, which is just a piece of content, it's a video, it's a good piece of copy, some writing, some words, that has an offer that wants to get them into a Facebook group. Mm -hmm. Take it away from me. Yeah, this isn't brain surgery. Like sometimes the best stuff is the simple stuff, if not always the yeah. best stuff is the yeah. simple stuff. So now we have these people inside this community. Let's just zoom out for a second before we get too nitty gritty into the details. One of the things, and I've said it before, that I think the world has been missing when everyone is in quarantine, isolated by themselves, one thing everyone has been missing is a sense of community. And so why not offer that to people, even if they're not paying you? Have a place where people can come together. You have your niche, you have your target market and who you want to talk to. Imagine if you had a hundred of your people inside a Facebook group. First of all, how much fun would that be? Second of all, how valuable would it be for you to be drip feeding content to these people, helping them, giving them knowledge and your expertise that those people clearly want because they just opted into your ad. So now you have these people really inside this community. It's almost like a real estate on the internet. Yep. It's like you almost own these people because they're within your ecosystem. Little sneaky thing on the back end here. This is the exchange with someone joining the Facebook group because you're giving them value for free, right? And so they want to give you something in return. So you're going to get their email address, right? So that's the exchange. You're not allowed inside my Facebook group where I'm going to coach you basically for free through my content. You have to give me your detail information. If you're smart, you'll build an email list. And we have all kinds of examples of what these emails look like. Find me, I'm not a hard guy to find. I'll give you some examples of the email because that was my job at that $200 million company. Write the emails that people, when they join the Facebook group, they see the emails that Josh wrote. So you're giving people value in the emails, you're giving people value in the group, creating a community, and then maybe you could talk about 
how we actually start the conversations with people inside the DMs, because what I love about the Facebook group is we are marketing in public, but we're selling in private. So we give a lot of value through the group, give a lot of value through the actual content in the emails, and then we it really opens the door for a conversation inside the DMs. So let's even take one sideward step, and this could be more for the advanced person right now, and if this is a bit too much over the top, it's okay, we'll quickly come back on track right now. But what we're doing is we're building a Facebook group, that's one platform, we're building an email list, that's a second platform, when they have to go opt in and hit a specific page, we're pixeling them so that we can retarget, retargeting them. And then what we're doing is we're also starting a direct messenger mm -hmm. conversation. So we've got four platforms that now we can follow mm -hmm. back up with someone, which is really important because, I mean, if you lost your Facebook, page, for example, the Facebook groups get shut down. That's cool, you still got three other things. So we're building something that's a bit more robust mm -hmm. and it's safer as well. So it's not like you can get just shut down and everything stops overnight, okay? Let's get back on track from there. So what we need to be able to look at is then starting a direct messenger conversation. So in the group, you're just there actually helping them, right? So this is a, something a mentor posed to me one day, as what's one of the easiest ways to get someone to know that you can help them? You help them. <laughs> as simple as that is. But to be perfectly honest, yeah. th like I think 99.9% .9 of like most online trainers right now aren't really doing that. They're just kind of copying mm -hmm. each other and it's not true for like I'm actually going to solve that problem that you have right now. So what we were doing is we're helping them. Here's a problem that you have. Here's a solution you have. How can I best help you? Let's connect. And it doesn't need, mean you need to be in there for hours every day, far from it. It just means you need to know the problem and give them a solution that they can actually like take hold of, use it and actually start to see results. From that, then we can start to give them an offer. An offer is just a very broad strokes term to, hey, I've got something for you to go to take this next step. That is going to open up a direct messenger conversation. From that DM, that's when you can start to be like, hey, what is it that you're looking for? What is it that you're actually struggling with right now? What is it that you've done previously to try and solve this problem right now? And then you can take them into a sales conversation. But remember, the start of that conversation is typically only two to three questions that is actually going to qualify them first. So we call this the chat to client method. Our clients use the chat to client method. So when they open up, they ask two or three quick hot potato uh, questions with each other. So I ask a question, you quickly answer. I quickly ask, you quickly answer. So we get through it really quickly. Then we can qualify them and say, great, this is someone I can actually help. Yeah and then I can give them the next step, which could be go watch this webinar, go to this sales page, jump on a call with me, whatever your sales mechanism is, it just takes them to that next step. But we don't need to talk about that because what we need to talk about is number one, do you actually have content and add an ability to get people that don't know you to know you? Mm -hmm. Then we're building a relationship with them because we're building a Facebook group. We're getting people into a group that we can help actually solve their problems. But as Josh very smartly said, we're doing it in a community context that because the community also helps each other being able to build. I'm actually in a mastermind that costs over $50,000 a year that 90 8% of it is actually user generated content, yeah. which means essentially the person has built the table that everyone comes and sits at, but everyone sitting at the table is the one actually helping each other. So this is what you can do with your Facebook group as well. And then it's simply, do you have the ability to then take those people into a conversation to qualify them, to put them into the sales process? Mm -hmm. Three steps. Totally. And I know a lot of coaches feel weird about their sales process or doing sales in general. One of the greatest ways to make your sales process less weird is to be really good at marketing and to actually help people and give value in your content. So if you're like, ah, I feel like my leads are too cold or I feel like, ah, there's not enough love or relationship there. That's what the Facebook group is for. Yeah, this is not. <laughs> yeah, because the group is giving so much value. The members of the group, you, the content and the email, like this is hitting people from every direction with love, value and care which makes it so process oriented for then you to come back and say, hey, do you want some more help with that? Mm. And people are gonna be super open and receptive to that. So whatever you're doing in right now in marketing, if it's not working, if it's not actually getting people on the phone with you and those people aren't converting for whatever reason, maybe you wanna start a Facebook group. Yeah, so three steps you gotta ask yourself right now. Do you have a system 
and a system is something that is replicating over and over again, do you have a system to get people that don't know to know? Do you have a system to be able to build relationships and build the list? And do you have the system to be able to get those people moving into an offer that is gonna get them signing on board as your client? So that's as simple as it really needs to be. Now, obviously, if you want help to be able to actually put this into a step-by-step, -step, okay, what is it that you're missing? Maybe what is it that you got? please help me, I wanna know exactly what it is so I can actually build this business that gives me the life that I want. Well then the easiest next step is for you to book in a super quick strategy session. Could be with Josh, could be with me, could be with a team member, but all we need to do on this conversation is three things. Number one, where are you? Are you starting from scratch? Have you been in the industry for years? What's currently going on right now? Secondly, where do you want to go? What does success look like for you? How much money do you wanna earn? Where do you wanna be working from? Do you know who you wanna be working with? All of those things that define success for you. And then simply, what's the straightest line? What is the actual set of steps that you need to follow so that every single day you can wake up, kick your legs out of bed and be like, yeah, today I just need to do these two things. And you know that you're making momentum. You know that you're making progress. And I say, when you know you're making progress, stress goes right down. It drops to the absolute floor and you start to have more fun because you know that you're just doing those few things. You're not waking up every day, tearing your hair out of your head, trying to be like, what is that I do? I'm doing everything, but nothing's working. Let's take that out. Let's make sure you've got a plan. So I'll just pop a link for you, book in for your strategy session. And then if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can look at us two, be able to, well, maybe you don't want to listen. Yeah. <laughs> you and me, you and me. Hits for radio, but hopefully we're actually giving you some really good help as well. So subscribe, click like, and if you have any questions that you want us to answer in the upcoming episodes, please comment below, ask those questions. We're gonna be coming in answering them and we wanna be able to take the best questions and actually get back in front and answer them for you in depth. So thank you for being here and we'll see you in the next episode.